Today, we're taking the loofah out of the loofah. Hi everybody, thanks so much for stopping by the homestead. My name is Sarah from Living Traditions Homestead. And if you saw on one of our previous videos, we had a surprise harvest of loofah gourds. And I've done some reading, and we've harvested all of them because it has um, frosted. And I've done some reading to figure out how to get the loofah sponge out of the loofah gourd. And I found a really great article that had some really amazing steps um, and instructions. And so we're going to do that together today. I've never harvested loofah, so this is the first time we've ever grown loofah. Uh, but I do have a good friend that grows loofahs every year um, and got some advice from her and also, like I said, did some research online. So hopefully today we are going to successfully get the loofah out of the loofah. Uh, so the, the first thing that I read is that um, a lot of people say to wait to harvest your loofahs and wait to peel them until the outside is brown. Well, uh, the article that I read said, really it's gonna be harder if you wait for the outside to be hard and dry, and you're gonna be like um, almost breaking rather than peeling off uh, the outside rind. So they actually recommended that you wait until the loofahs are turning yellowish and until they are kind of squishy. And uh, this one I have here is on the squishy side. It's not super squishy, like it's uh, rotting but it's a little bit squishy um, and and what you should do they said is uh, squeeze it all the way around up and down until you hear like um, like a like a crunching noise and what they said is the crunching noise is the rind part separating from the inside part and to com continue doing that all the way around until all the crunching is done and then to basically kind of peel it like you would peel a banana. Um, and uh, so I'm going to uh, bring you up a little bit closer uh, so you can have a, a better view of what's going on and we are going to see if we can do this together. Okay, so I'm going to start really squeezing on this until I can hear like a, a I don't know, like a, a ripping noise, I guess, or a crunching. I don't know if you can hear that. And um, what's happening is the rind part is actually kind of breaking away from itself. I don't know if you can see that, see? Okay, so I'm gonna keep, I thought I was gonna have to cut it with my knife. I brought my knife out just in case, but it doesn't look like I'm gonna have to do that. Oh, see, look. Now it's, it's not dry in there, you know, it's still wet and stuff in there. I hope that I don't need to be wearing gloves. Okay, so now that it's pretty much done like that, I'm going to, um, I don't know if I'm gonna break off the top, but I'm gonna start peeling off this outside part. Huh. Now, like I've said, I've never done this before. The article I saw online didn't have uh, any photos, it just had um, illustrations, so I'm just kind of learning as I go here. So I'm just going to uh, keep pulling this off as I can. Inside it's not drippy wet, um, and it's not necessarily slimy, uh, but it's definitely wet. Um, And this is actually coming off pretty easily. It's a lot more um, stringy inside, I guess I would say, uh, as compared to a dry loofah. I would say the inside of this uh, kind of reminds me of spaghetti squash after you cook spaghetti squash. That's the consistency. I'm afraid I'm gonna, I'm afraid I'm gonna break the top off, so I'm gonna be real careful. 
right here. I hope you guys can see this okay. I hope it's focusing. This is pretty awesome, you guys, that we can grow our own, like, well, you could use this as a dish scrubby. You could use this in the shower. Um, I've actually heard of people who um, make soap and cut these and embed them right in the soap. So it's pretty awesome that you can grow this so easily in your garden and, you know, produce something. Now here, see the, the tip of that is getting caught. So I'm just gonna pull it. And if it gets messed up, it gets messed up. It's just a tiny little bit. So it's pretty awesome that you can grow this in your own garden uh, to use in your house for cleaning and, and um, you know, bathing and that kind of thing. So this is what it looks like on the inside. Um, it's still pretty, pretty moist and stuff. And uh, what we need to do next, I'm gonna cut the bottom off. The bottom is kind of solid here. It's not stringy like the outside. So I'm going to cut the bottom off because I read that, well, the next step is to really wash it well with your hose, like high power, you know, not a pressure sprayer, but you know, a, a nozzle that does a good job. But I'm going to cut this, just a little bit of this bottom off here so that maybe the seeds can come out. Um, and then I'm going to wash it. But before I go over there, I, bought, I brought a second one along and I'm going to do the same thing and peel that one too. And this one's um, quite a bit bigger, the second one. Oh, this one's harder to crunch. I'm not sure how it's gonna go. What I also read is that if these aren't quite ready, or if they're not really, um, if they're not squishing and crunching the way that they should, that you can actually just bang these on the ground uh, to get them to loosen up. And it doesn't seem like I have enough strength in my hands urgh, to do the bottom of these. So I am gonna smack them. We've got some uh, cinder blocks here. I'm gonna smack this on all sides to get that to loosen up, hopefully. Woo, there goes part of it. Woo. It's really cracking, see that? That's what we want. Let's see, one, let's do a couple over here. Okay, see, look at, look how awesome that is. I'm gonna try to do that on the edge over here. Hopefully that I don't ruin it. Isn't this fun? You can actually like get your aggressions out too at the same time. Like a homestead workout. Preparing for intruders. Look at how cool that was, you guys. All right. Now, there we go. All right, all that stuff can go in the compost pile. So, all right, that was that was exciting. Okay, so look at these. Pretty awesome, right? I can cut these into like a bunch of different smaller ones. I can use them in the shower. We can use them to, uh, to do the dishes. So I'm gonna take these over and uh, spray them with the hose to get, try to get all of the slimy stuff off. So let's, uh, let's go see if we're not uh, intruding on the ducks too much that are sleeping over there and we'll spray these off in the yard. Can you hear me over the ducks? They're not happy with me. Actually, they want me to spray so they can come dig in the mud. So, 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a sprayer attachment, a nozzle, um, to spray a hard stream of water on top of these loofahs. I have it on a, on a feed bag here because um, underneath here is just, you know, grass and dirt, and I don't really want to cause a big mud puddle, and then it's like working against me, you know what I mean? So I'm just going to spray the tar out of these, and, you know, there's like a milky, kind of icky, squishy substance in there. Uh, I'm going to try to spray all of that out um, and uh, go from there. definitely still foamy stuff. There's definitely still foamy stuff coming out. There's like a change in the texture. Um, and uh, when I squish on it, it doesn't look as, uh, well, it doesn't feel slimy for sure. And it doesn't make as many like bubbles. See like all this bubbly stuff. Well, there's still some in there and I need to work on that big one. And when I'm spraying it, I'm also like squeezing on it to try to get all of that out of there. Can you see the seeds coming out? I might need to get a lot of those out after it's dried. Because they're all in there, but I bet after it's dried, I can just like bang on it and they'll all come out. When I squeeze it, oh, the texture of it is completely different now that all of that goopy stuff is out. And uh, so that one's done. I'm gonna set this aside somewhere. Uh, where it won't get in the mud and move on to this one. So I'm pressing on this with my body weight because I feel like it breaks up whatever is in there that like makes all that um, slimy stuff in there. I'll... This is a workout! I think I have like 15 more of these in the house. Okay, I think one more spray down. Boop. Seeds. I think one more spray down after this bit of squishing will be done. This would have been a nightmare if I wouldn't have put this down here. This would have been a big mud puddle. All right, I'm going to call it done, even though there are a bunch of seeds still in there. I'm going to be cutting these into pieces anyway, and so I can just get more of the seeds out afterwards. So I'm going to call this done. All that, look at how pliable it is now. Look at, isn't this crazy? Look at. That is awesome. Okay. All that was in there, making it kind of rigid was just all of that goopy stuff. So this is pretty awesome. Okay, so I'm done with these. Okay, you guys, so the last step with these um, really is to just let them dry out. Uh, now there's an added step that you can do if you want to. Um, I am going to uh, let these soak for, I don't know, 20 or 30 minutes in a 10% bleach solution uh, just to even out the color uh, to you know kill any bacteria and um, to make these the nice kind of light brown whitish color that you find in the store but that you don't have to do that if you're against using bleach uh, you don't have to do this at all you just need to let these dry completely uh, 100% and then you can cut them to whatever size you want and start using them and that is it isn't that fantastic? Uh, so you guys, thanks so much for coming along with me today um, on an adventure that I have never gone on before. 
Um, I'm so excited about these loofahs. Like I said before, I think that I'm gonna be growing these every single year from now on. They're so interesting and so easy. Um, if you are not a subscriber to our channel yet, would you please uh, hit the subscribe button below so that you know what's going on all the time. We've got lots of exciting things coming up. Um, if you have questions or comments, uh, go ahead and leave those in the comment section below. We'd love to hear from you. And if you like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. You guys, thanks so much for stopping by the homestead. Take care and God bless.